Lauren Steinbrecher spoke with experts to find out how parents can tell if their child might be talking to a predator. Lauren, what did you find out? Yeah, Dini and Mike, some horrible situations that we've seen this month, and we all know for parents it can be hard to stay on top of what kinds of websites, social media platforms, and apps that your kids are on on their phones. But what ICAC tells me, it's not just about monitoring their devices. It's a worst-case scenario situation for parents. Their child abducted by a predator who spent months grooming and planning. A fear that isn't that far-fetched. One in five kids is sexually solicited online. So that's a really high stat. So it's kind of a not if but when question. Sure, there are monitoring apps and ways parents can keep up on their kids' activity online and on their phone. But if something slips past, the signs something is wrong may be outside of any smartphone, ICAC indicates like signs of anxiety, depression, lowering grades at school, or... What, what that predator wants to do is pull them away and be their lone support. Watch for your child trying to suddenly change their looks, ICAC education specialist Michelle Bush Upwall says, or secretly receiving things in the mail. They'll send them phones, so maybe that's their line of access and they don't have to, you know, let their parents know. Um, pushing down the computer when parents come in. The best piece of advice she can give... Talk with your kids often about predators, grooming, and the dangers lurking behind their screens. Having those open lines of communication and then keeping it so it's it's very, it's not aggressive, you know, it's, it's not in your face so that they feel comfortable when and if something like this does happen. Oh, another tip she gave is however your kids are using their devices, whether it's gaming or it's apps they're using, make sure you are also downloading those apps, that you're also using those games so you can understand how they work and how your children are using those various things. Back to you, Jeannie. Yeah, it takes a constant effort, doesn't it? Thanks, Lauren.